So our next example, we're going to simplify by factoring. Now, if you don't see the word or the phrase by factoring, how would you know this is by factoring? Uh, well, there's two indications. One of them is probably more obvious than the other. So I see a tangent v, another tangent v. So factoring out that tangent v would be a very good factoring thing to start with. Uh, something less obvious, 1 squared is equal to 1. So I can just go ahead and square that. Uh, now when I put a square on, order of operations says you square the 1 before you apply the negative sign. So just putting a little square on there doesn't change anything. And the, in the numerator we have difference of squares, uh, also known as conjugate factors. So difference of squares a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. So we can factor this out to conjugates here. So we're going to apply both of those factoring at the same time. So we got sine v minus 1 times sine v plus 1 divided by tangent v times sine v minus 1. All right, and look at that. Luckily, cancellation right there. Now, why are we allowed to cancel these? Because they're both being multiplied here. So that's why we're allowed to cancel them. And we're left with sine v plus 1 over tan v. All right, now we're in the uh, gray zone of deciding is this simple enough or not. Uh, it might be, but what I'm going to do is rewrite tangent as uh, sine over cosine. And then we have multi-story fractions, so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal here. And uh, if I multiply in here, so I'm just stripping across the, whoa, right there across addition. So I have sine v divided by sine v cancels. So that leaves me with cos v plus one times cos v over sine v. And what is cosine v over sine v? I could factor cos v out, but Let's just rewrite uh, cos v over sine v as cotangent v. All right, and that I believe will be as simple as we're going to get this.